stretching more than 2,000 kilometers along the northeast coast of Australia. The Great Barrier Reef is the largest living organism on Earth. Bold, beautiful, and so precious, the reef is home to the greatest concentration of life found anywhere on the planet. Along the edge of the reef lies the spectacular coral coast, the only place on Earth where ancient rainforest meets coral reef. Since the dawn of time, the Great Barrier Reef has worked together with its mangroves, coastal river system, and rainforests to create the richest, most complex natural ecosystem on Earth. Come with us on a fascinating journey as we explore the wonder and magic of the Great Barrier Reef, a living treasure. For 450 kilometers along the northeastern coast of Australia, the Great Barrier Reef caresses the wet tropics of North Queensland. Here, the Coral Sea meets ancient rainforest and two spectacular world heritage icons collide. Pristine and remote, this unique landscape dates back tens of millions of years. The coastal ecosystem is unlike anywhere else in the world, fragile, complex, and full of life. The saltwater crocodile thrives in this part of the world. Locally referred to as a salty, the Great Barrier Reef is home to some of the largest saltwater crocodiles found anywhere on the planet. While a mature crocodile can be one of the most intimidating and ferocious creatures found on the reef, like most newborns, they start life cute and innocent. Mum will lay 40 to 60 eggs, and after about 80 days, they begin to hatch. After just a few months, mum leaves them for good and the babies are left to fend for themselves. Dad's no support either. He's so aggressive and territorial that children flee to find their own home. It's a tough upbringing. Incredibly, less than 1% of the crocodiles will survive to adulthood. and the ones that do survive have to quickly learn to adapt. With no parental guidance, he relies purely on instinct. And it's not long before he becomes an adept hunter. The coastal river system is rich with life and there's no shortage of food available. Using his powerful tail, he learns how to leap high out of the water to catch birds and aquatic insects. The biggest threat to an adolescent crocodile is another crocodile. Highly territorial and aggressive, it's not unusual for crocodiles to attack each other To avoid conflict, many of the adolescent crocodiles flee the river system for the safety 
of the open ocean. Incredibly adaptable, the crocodile is as comfortable here out in the Coral Sea as he is in the river system. Fully mature, the saltwater crocodile is the largest reptile on the Great Barrier Reef. Growing up to six meters long and weighing over 1,000 kilograms. Armed with the most powerful bite in the animal kingdom, he's the perfect killing machine. An apex predator with no rivals to challenge his rule. Scavengers, he'll eat almost anything, including birds, fish, and mammals. His very presence along the river evokes fear. This bird is walking into a world of danger. but schedules her departure just in the nick of time, much to the frustration of the hungry crocodile. After missing out on the bird, his next target is a young rock wallaby. Thirsty, she rests by the river, oblivious to the looming danger. Sensing an opportunity, the cunning crocodile sneaks closer. Salty knows he'll likely get one chance and is prepared to wait for as long as it takes. Hidden by the murky water, he hovers just beneath the surface. Distracted, the wallaby has no idea that a giant crocodile is lurking just meters away. Suddenly, the crocodile lurches high out of the murky shallows, striking the wallaby with a fatal blow. Startled by all the commotion, the rainforest roars into life as screeching cockatoos take flight. Before the wallaby has time to react, it's over in an instant. With a violent twist of the head, the crocodile tries to rip the flesh apart. The power of the crocodile is both frightening and mesmerizing. He's a predator to be feared and respected. Cruel and unforgiving. It's the harsh reality of life here on the edge of the Great Barrier Reef. One of the great miracles of the reef ecosystem is the vast mangrove colony that lines the coral coast. With a maze of interlaced roots, they act as water purifiers, filtering the bad from the land and sifting salt from the sea. Mangroves are the Great Barrier Reef's living, breathing buffer zone. Keeping the water clean and protecting the shore from damaging winds and waves. They bond two complex ecosystems, keeping the reef and rainforest in harmony. 
The knotted mangroves, tidal flats, and coastal estuaries are also rich with life and home to a variety of amazing and unique creatures. Resilient and highly efficient, the mangroves are the guardians of the coast, playing an essential role in the health and vitality of the Great Barrier Reef. One of the most fascinating creatures living along the coral coast is the elegant seahorse. This male seahorse shelters in the lush seagrass that lies just offshore from the mangroves. This tiny flutter signals the start of something truly remarkable, a male giving birth. When mating, the female seahorse deposits the eggs into the male's pouch. He's been carrying the eggs for almost six weeks, and now it's time for the miracle of birth. Starting with just a few, it quickly turns into a steady stream before the floodgates open. And on and on it goes. It's hard to imagine how an animal this small can carry so many offspring. Incredibly, he'll give birth to over 1,500 precious babies. From the moment they leave Dad's protective pouch, the toddlers are left to fend for themselves. Minute, delicate, and so vulnerable. Sadly, just 1% of these babies will grow old enough to reproduce. Life on the coral coast can be a fragile existence where only the strongest survive. The Great Barrier Reef is full of bizarre creatures, each with their own unique traits and character. This small fish is the giant mud skipper. And his home is the muddy tidal flats that stretch along the reef's vast coastal river system. Whereas most fish retreat with the outgoing tide, the mud skipper lives in a mud burrow along the flats and emerges at low tide. Despite being a fish, he can move efficiently on land and is capable of breathing in and out of water. Using two muscular pectoral fins, which double as legs, he can drag himself around. With a powerful tail, he can also leap into the air. This remarkable ability allows him to get from one muddy pond to the next and in a hurry. He might be small in stature, but what he lacks in size, he makes up for with attitude. Feisty and aggressive, he's the self-proclaimed Lord of the Mudflats. Fiercely territorial, mud skippers are forever fighting each other in a spiteful turf war. And as the tide ebbs, the mud flats become a battlefield. And there's no love lost between these two combatants. With neither fish prepared to 
give an inch. Finally, it's a victory of sorts, at least until tomorrow, when the neighborly dispute will be repeated all over again. The mud skipper is in a constant battle, not just with one another, but also with predators. This hungry egret zeroes in on the mud skipper who's been left exposed. Ever alert, he senses the danger. With a hop, a skip, and a giant sized jump, he makes a swift retreat back to the safety of his burrow. Whether walking, leaping, or fighting, the volatile mud skipper is perfectly adapted to a life sparring on the coastal mudflats of the Great Barrier Reef. A grasshopper overhead stirs the remarkable archer fish into action. Found in coastal waters along northern Australia, the archer fish lives in brackish mangrove swamps where he spends his time cruising the shallows, foraging for food. This amazing fish is the Great Barrier Reef's greatest marksman. With a water cannon so powerful, he can shoot down insects. As the grasshopper goes about his business, the ingenious archer fish moves into position. Just below the surface, he lines up his target like a sniper and waits for the perfect moment before firing. Bang, and a jet of water spirals forward, striking the target with pinpoint accuracy. Knocked from his perch, and with trouble circling, the stunned grasshopper lies helpless. Despite the attention of other would-be predators, the shooter soon has his catch. With clinical eyesight, he can line up a target like a skilled assassin, adjusting his sight to calculate the change of angle from water to air. It's a shooting skill that's been mastered over generations. Firing at rapid speed, he can squirt the water up to three meters high and rarely ever misses. Clinical and deadly accurate, this remarkable shooting fish is one of the reef's most ingenious hunters. Another intriguing fish found in the coastal river system is the barramundi. As at home in fresh water, as he is in salt water, the barramundi lives in rivers and mangrove estuaries along the northern extremities of the reef. A carnivore, he feeds mainly on small fish, crustaceans and aquatic insects. Like the archer fish, he's an accomplished hunter, but instead of a water pistol, he uses phenomenal speed to catch his prey. Flying overhead, the dragonfly is blissfully unaware of the barramundi's presence. Waiting just below the surface, he prepares to launch. Then in a flash he strikes, devouring the insect in an instant. With lightning speed, he extends his jaw to suck in the water, and with it, 
his prey. And insects of all types are on his menu. Small fish are also a favorite dish. Not always the one hunting. Sometimes it's the barramundi that's being stalked. The barramundi also shares his home with the saltwater crocodile. This giant salty spots a large barramundi and moves in for the kill. No match for the might of the salty. The fish is snapped. and then tossed onto the riverbank to be eaten. Despite the attention of another crocodile, Salty wants this fish all for himself. Greedy and selfish, he's in no mood to share and retreats back to the water with his prize firmly secured. Life's always in the balance on the Coral Coast. One minute, the Barramundi is king of his domain. The next, he's at the mercy of the almighty crocodile. Where the rainforest meets the reef is home to some very unusual and rare animals. One of the rarest of them all is the Loomholtz tree kangaroo. One of very few kangaroo species to live in trees. And this small pocket of rainforest near the edge of the Great Barrier Reef is one of the only places on earth where you'll find this amazing animal. With shorter legs and strong forearms for climbing, this remarkable kangaroo is well adapted to a life high in the treetops. Weighing just eight kilos, they are the smallest kangaroo species. Shy, elusive, and hidden from the world, they're rarely ever seen. This close-knit family relax high in the canopy, eating fruit and leaves, taking in one of the world's most spectacular views, the iconic Great Barrier Reef, one of the natural wonders of the world. The Great Barrier Reef is a sanctuary for birds of all types with over 400 different species calling this special part of the world home. With such a diverse range of habitat that includes rainforest, woodlands, mangroves, rivers, islands and reefs. It's the perfect setting for a vibrant bird population.
One of the most famous birds living along the coral coast is the magnificent southern cassowary. Rare and unique, this imposing bird is the queen of the rainforest. Incredibly, less than 2,000 of this species of southern cassowary remain in the wild. Ancient and so precious, this flightless bird lives where the rainforest meets the reef. This stunning stretch of coast is named in her honor, the Cassowary Coast. It's not unusual for the cassowaries to venture out of the forest and down to the beach to forage for food. This family feed on wild fruit growing along the foreshore. During the heat of the day, they love nothing more than taking a drink and cooling off in the freshwater streams that dot the coast. During the swim, they take the time to wash and rinse their feathers. Tipping the scales at almost 60 kilograms, the cassowary is the largest bird living on the Great Barrier Reef. The female cassowary is bigger in size than her male counterpart, and she's the dominant personality. With her distinctive bony crown, she stands tall and elegant. He's a stay-at-home dad. After she lays her eggs, she abandons them, at which point, dad takes over. During mating season, the female will breed with several partners, so dad is never quite sure if the babies he's nurturing are actually his own. Cassowaries are also strong and athletic. She can run up to 50 kilometers per hour through dense forest and can leap up to two meters off the ground. Cassowaries have been wandering these ancient rainforests for millions of years, and they play an essential role in the health of the environment. Often referred to as the rainforest gardeners, they dine on the forest's wild fruits and then spread the seeds, fertilizing the forest floor with their droppings. Rare and endangered, these ancient keepers of the rainforest are one of the Great Barrier Reef's most precious creatures. Not all sharks across the Great Barrier Reef are large and menacing. A small shark, commonly found along the coast, is the black tip shark. Along with the gray and white tip sharks, the black tip is the most common shark living on the Great Barrier Reef. Easily identified by his prominent black tip fin, this shark spends most of his adolescent years playing in the shallows of the mangrove system where he's protected from large predators. With a wealth of food, the warm, protected waters provide a perfect home. Here, he learns to hunt and socialize until he's old enough to venture out to sea. Moving between the coastal estuaries and the inner reef, the black tips bridge two distinct ecosystems. They have a remarkable tolerance for brackish, even freshwater, 
which allows them to travel upstream. Fast swimming and highly active, they grow to about 1.6 meters. Timid in nature, black tips like to stay together. Even at an early age, they learn the benefits of hunting in groups. This school of young sharks works in unison to herd a huge school of bait fish. The team approach is not only an effective hunting technique, the strength and numbers tactic also offers security against larger predators. When the sharks get bigger, they venture further out to sea where they live in small groups along shallow reefs, never venturing far from the coast. Here, they exhibit strong sight fidelity, remaining in the same area for years at a time. By now, their exceptional hunting technique is well versed and they work in packs to herd reef fish with great effect. Devoted to their home and each other, the black tip sharks are one of the Great Barrier Reef's most loyal residents. Another shark calling the Great Barrier Reef coastal fringe home is the amazing epaulette shark the world's only walking shark. This remarkable creature has adapted fins that double as legs. And the Great Barrier Reef is one of the few places on Earth where they're found. This ability to walk is possible through evolutionary adaptations in their pectoral and pelvic fins. The shark can not only walk on coral, he can also walk along the seafloor and even on land when needed. The reef system here is very shallow. So shallow that during low tide, isolated pools of water form between exposed reef structures. The walking shark uses his crawling ability to access the rock pools that contain fish, crabs and other prey. As the tide falls, bigger fish are forced into deeper water, with the epaulette shark left to exploit the riches of the exposed reef undisturbed. By slowing her breathing and heart rate, she can also survive for extended periods of time with little or no oxygen. These elliptical shells are known as mermaid purses, clutches that hold the epaulette sharks developing infants safe in the water for three to four months until they hatch and swim away. In time, the baby epaulette sharks will also grow up to be walking sharks, just like their parents. A marvel of nature, the incredible walking shark 
is one of the reef's most intriguing and unique characters. Don't be fooled by this petite, colorful character. This octopus is the most venomous eight-legged creature on the planet. She's the blue-ringed octopus, tiny but so deadly. Common right along the coral coast, they live in tidal pools and shallow reefs. Usually shy and timid, she's known as a reef recluse. But when threatened or hungry, her passive nature quickly turns. She might be small in stature, but she's big on bite. Her toxin's so potent, it can kill an adult human. Crabs are her favorite meal. And when her beige skin darkens and her blue rings ignite, it's a warning sign. Sensing the danger, the crab takes flight. But he's soon cornered. The feisty crab's not giving up without a fight. But he's no match for the cunning octopus. Trapped, it's just a matter of time before she strikes. Suddenly, the crab is engulfed by her eight tentacles. Using her beak, she injects a fatal venom. With an ability to change shape and color as quickly as her mood, the small but deadly blue ringed octopus is the great chameleon of the Great Barrier Reef. This tiny creature may look harmless enough. But just like the blue ring octopus, looks can be very deceiving. Virtually invisible to the naked eye, the Irukandji is almost transparent, measuring just five millimeters across. Despite being one of the smallest jellyfish in the world, this little guy is one of the deadliest creatures on the reef. More prevalent in the wet season during summer, he cruises the warm coastal waters of the Great Barrier Reef. With his four tentacles, one attached to each corner of his square-shaped bell, he hunts for prey, jiggling his organs like a fishing line. His meter-long tentacles are lined with millions of microscopic capsules each containing the most venomous animal toxin on the planet. When he attacks, pressure builds and a lethal injection is fired at rapid speed. No matter their size, an Irukandji sting can be fatal to humans. Despite the Irukandji's deadly reputation, he's not the most lethal jellyfish in the world. That honor goes to his bigger relative, the Kiranax box jellyfish. It's the most venomous creature on Earth, outranking the Irukandji due to its size and venom. Swimming along the sandy shallows adjacent to the rainforest, the box jellyfish dangles his 60 long tentacles. 
with the tentacles virtually invisible, this school of fish swims straight towards a trap. Death is almost instant for this unlucky fish. Careful not to damage his delicate limbs, the jellyfish takes his time to devour the meal. Lethal and virtually invisible, the deadly box jellyfish takes the crown as the most venomous creature on the Great Barrier Reef. Back on the coast, and this five meter saltwater crocodile has returned from an ocean sabbatical to rule the river. Salty's now matured into a monster crocodile and a lethal predator. Through sheer size, he rules his domain terrorizing any crocodile who dares to threaten his authority. His predatory instincts are ignited by the sight of a wild boar drinking from the riverbank. An introduced species, wild boars roam the far north of Australia in huge numbers, much to the delight of the saltwater crocodile. Using stealth tactics, slowly but surely, the crocodile stalks the unsuspecting boar. It's a game of patience, with a plan to get as close as possible before mounting a surprise attack. He inches closer, hiding just below the surface. With incredible speed, he manages to snatch the startled boar by the front leg. Crushed by the powerful jaws, the helpless boar has no chance. No matter how gruesome, it's hard not to admire the might and power of this ferocious prehistoric animal. An apex predator, the saltwater crocodile is the undisputed king of the vast coastal river system, here on the edge of the Great Barrier Reef, a living treasure. <laughs>